Hi everyone, today's video is going to be the start of a new little mini series. It's not going to be sequential in any way, it's more of a sketch diary sort of I draw what happened when I did something cool and because I don't have that much of a social life, I don't do very many cool things all the time. And so uh, it's just going to be whenever something cool happens instead of regularly scheduled content. So I wanted to talk about something cool that happened in my town that I attended recently. It was the Bon Festival, which was a Japanese influenced Bon Festival. Obviously it wasn't super authentic because it was in South Carolina, but it was put on by the Japanese American Association in my town, which was pretty cool to get to see all these people who were from Japan or their parents were from Japan or maybe they're just interested in Japanese culture or what have you and they get together and put on this big Bon Festival in the late summer every year. It was put on at a technical college in my town. There's my cat. Isn't he cute? He kept annoying me when I was doing this. And he's also knocking things around right now while I'm recording, so that's really fun. He's a real rascal. Sorry about that. The festival was held at the convention center of a local technical college, and it was held indoors, but they still set up these little booths everywhere, and there were different activities you could do. A lot of them were like little games where you paid tickets that you bought at the, at the entrance of the festival, and you got to try to win prizes, and there was a lot of cool stuff that were from Japan, like one of the things that I just bought. I didn't have to play for it, but there was just a little toy booth. I bought this cute little plastic mask that was some Sanrio character, but I don't know what it is. It's a bunny, a little brown bunny. Uh, I'll throw a picture up. So anyways, I was inspired to start doing this series because I saw this really cool outfit that this one little kid was wearing, and we saw him at this little pop gun like shooting game where you try to hit the prize that you want and then you get to win it if you touch the prize with the cork from the gun. And this kid was just wearing the coolest outfit. I think his parents must be really into costuming or something like that because um, he was wearing these really cool dark navy kind of leggings and the tabi boots and this red short sleeve kind of kimono thing and then he had this neat braided thick black cord to hold it together at the waist in this cool woven basket on his hip probably to hold the prizes that he won and on top of his head was this cool paper mache mask and I actually looked it up which is this traditional character in I guess Japanese folklore it, uh, he's really scrappy looking I don't know what that character's deal is apparently he's blowing on some fire to make it burn and that's why he's making this kind of puckered kissy face I don't know but it was really cool This kid was really all out though. His parents had painted his cheeks to be kind of flushed red, like the character on his mask and everything. And he had these really huge like jingle bell things tied to his belt too, which was like, I don't know, it's just like his outfit was particularly striking compared to the stuff that everybody else was wearing. And there are people that were dressed in yukatas and stuff like that, but his was very unique and it, it stood out to me. And so that's why I wanted to take that inspiration that I got from seeing him just kind of doing his thing and playing the game and being a kid in this really detailed and uh, nuanced, I guess, outfit. I wanted to take that inspiration and, and make a sketch of it, and that's what gave me the idea to start doing these little sketch diaries. Also, something else cool that happened while I was there um, was I actually won an iPad Mini, so that was a very good day for me. I don't get to make purchases like that often, so it was very exciting to be able to do that. It was this raffle thing where you paid I think two tickets and you got to reach in and pull out a piece of paper that was folded up and depending on what the paper had on it you would get a certain prize so if it was a blank piece of paper then you wouldn't get any prize at all that was that you would just get like a piece of candy or some consolation prize and if you got anything with a number on it those numbers corresponded to certain prizes. So I pulled it out and I got number three and the one that I was hoping for was number one because that was a Nintendo Switch but I don't really know why I was hoping for one of those because we already have one and I feel like someone else would put much better use to it. I probably would have sold it if I had won the Switch honestly and then I probably would have not used that money as wisely as I can put the uses into an iPad. So yeah I got number three and that was the iPad mini and it's a very very nice 
little piece of machinery, I'm actually kind of scared to use it because <laughs> it's all brand new and I'm waiting on a case in the mail. So I'm very gingerly using this cool iPad that I won. Um, but it was my lucky day either way and it was a very nice day. Other than that, I mean, I was just having fun with my boyfriend and one of my best friends walking around playing these games, seeing cool archery and taiko drum demonstrations and um, just having a good day getting out and seeing other people. Have you ever won anything cool? You should let me know in the comments if you have. Or if you haven't, have you almost won something cool? Or do you know somebody that won something cool? I'm just really excited about this because I never win anything. So if other people have had that kind of cool joy moment, I wanna hear about it. I had a great day at the Bond Festival and I'm excited for next year's to see what I can possibly win or what other kind of cool stuff I can do on that day. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.